Champions that build and stack off of HP will greatly counter Cho'Gath, at least to a point where you won't be able to win his lane that easily. Singed is a very good example of this, and he can kite Cho for days. Alao is the same, but she must still be careful for the 1.5 to 2 second silence he has to throw. Gnar is an interesting counter if he manages to pick his fights as Mega Gnar, rather than the small critter he normally is. A good Kale could slow him, speed herself up, and ult his feast damage. Vlad if he tanks it up a bit, and Renekton if he can dodge the knockup are all viable counters too. Cho'Gath's passive will heal him and grant him some mana whenever he kills an enemy or destroys a structure. Cho'Gath's Q makes a ground erupt after a brief delay, knocking enemies up and slowing them. His W is a skill shot that silences enemies for up to 2 seconds and deals damage in a cone in front of him. Cho'Gath's E is a toggle ability that will almost always be toggled on, it gives his auto attacks extra range and they'll deal magic damage to every enemy in front of him. These spikes will get bigger based on the amount of stacks he's got. How does he get stacks? His ultimate is called Feast and will allow him to basically eat an enemy champion dealing true damage and getting a stack if he manages to to execute him that way. He can now stack this infinitely, but can only gain 6 stacks from non-champion monsters. Each stack grants him bonus health, making him bigger, literally. This ability scales with both AP and health, so some Cho'Gaths might be full tank and still deal a considerate amount of damage to ADCs and other squishy targets. The only real way to try and counter him is not to build MR or armor, but rather health the only true counter to true damage. Cho'Gaths will play with Teleport because it's a spell they can benefit most from, being that they can farm safely in the first few levels and still help out other lanes while playing from the faraway island that is the top lane. Ignite is useless versus a tank like him, and Exhaust will reduce his true damage. Honestly, I'd take Teleport to force him under tower and go from there. The sooner Cho can start getting bigger, the better. His early is weak, mid game is okay, and late is amazing. Rod of Ages is a very strong item on him, especially when it gets fully stacked, which is why his best power spikes come from level 6 onwards, when he can truly one-shot Squishy. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, try to stay healthy versus him and realize he can only get near using flash. Position yourself better during the 2 second silence and build health based items to counter his true damage. Ultimately, don't forget to have fun doing it.